this summer's goal for me is to really get out of that rut that I feel like I've been in for a few years. I want to not just feel comfortable with my ostomy and what I'm wearing, but I also want to feel really confident and feel like I look really good. So in today's video, I am going to show you four swimsuits that I picked out for this summer, and I'm not just going to show them to you. I am also going to surprise my husband with them. Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. Let's preface this video by saying, I don't know what's going on with my hair. It's humid in here. We are about to get rain for the first time in like a month. So it, my hair may just grow as the video goes on. Just, just wanted to throw that out there. But anyways, let's talk ostomy friendly swimwear. So I think that as time goes on, when you have some sort of medical device, doesn't have to be an ostomy um, or a diagnosis, your confidence can wax and wane. I think many assume, you know, the longer you have it, the more confident you are with it. And I have absolutely not found that to be true. My confidence has grown, it has gone downhill, it's shifted, it's changed each year. <laughs> When it comes to clothing, I think it's, you know, we grow older, our style changes, the, the fashionable things change, and our bodies change. I have definitely noticed that. And I think that affects what we feel confident in. This summer, I really wanted to focus on feeling and looking good, feeling really confident, feeling like, wow, I think I look really pretty in this. Um, maybe I look sexy in it, but I also wanted to be comfortable in it. That is, that is a key for me. I wanted some swimwear that just hit both of those, you know, the confidence and the comfortableness. And that's what I did. I think I hit the jackpot on these guys. I have four swimsuits that I'm going to show you from two different companies. One that I've purchased from before, one I haven't, and I've already tried them on and I look amazing. I really do look good in them, I must say, but... When I first got my ostomy, I never would have worn anything like this. And I even think that once I gained, I think my highest point of confidence, I don't know if I would have worn these either. I think I've hit the middle ground. When I first got my ostomy, I went to the greatest lengths to hide this thing. I didn't want anybody to see it. And I just did the weirdest stuff. Like in this photo here, I am wearing a skirt that I have pulled up to my bikini line, to my, my bikini top line, to kind of make my own tankini because there were not a lot available at the time. The styles were just not very ostomy friendly. And let me tell you, when you wear non-swimwear fabric <laughs> in the water, it feels like you're drowning. It's so dang heavy. I don't know how I survived that. I would wear, you know, t-shirts and stuff. Um, I had this one, oh my gosh, I had this one actual swimwear piece, outfit, I don't even know what you would call it. I think it was supposed to be a cover-up, but for the pool. And it was like I was wearing a moo. I mean, look at this thing. I did not feel confident in that at all. I felt like uh, it gave me no definition. So I just, I had some really interesting choices of how I was going to try to hide my ostomy. Then around the time that I was like 17, 18, I gained all of this confidence. I said, screw it, I'm wearing bikinis. I don't care what anybody thinks. And so I remember the first time that I went to the beach in a bikini, I'll, I'll show you right here. I decided to put zebra duct tape on my ostomy bag to like make it less medically. And uh, that was also the day <laughs> that when I went in the ocean, my bag came unattached to the flange. I had no idea. I'm swimming in the ocean, having a great time. And as I'm walking up the beach, I notice people looking at me. People would tend to look when you have intestine hanging out of your stomach. They, they are curious. So that happened and I realized, well, this swimwear does not really provide a lot of support to my ostomy. So I did some makeshift things. I like taped the plastic portions where you're supposed to put an ostomy belt. Um, I taped that to the flange and try to hold the sucker on like that. It was annoying and just, I had to keep a roll of tape with me at all times if I had to empty or whatever. I had to keep a roll of tape with me. It was just, it wasn't worth it. 
Um, but yeah, I had like a summer or two where I was really confident, just wore all bikinis. I'll show some here and maybe another one here. I felt good, I didn't care, but people did look. People are curious and I think that is absolutely fine because that's how we get used to people with different things going on. Um, it's how you do it. It's how you do it. You can't be rude about it, right? I'm more than happy for somebody to look at my belly and ask questions about it in a respectful manner. It's when you stare with your jaw hanging open. That's, that's rude. Don't do that. I never had that happen, but I did have a lot of people look at my stomach. One of the times on the beach when I had my bag flying free, I had someone come up to me and just say, wow, I used to have one and I couldn't do what you're doing. That's amazing. So that was super nice. This year though, I want swimwear that I'm going to look good in. It's not going to cover me up unnecessarily, but also I want it to keep my ostomy secure and I want it to not conceal my ostomy because as you'll see, my scar shows a little bit, the top of my ostomy bag might show a little bit, but just kind of give me the peace of mind that people are, if they're looking at me, they're looking at me and not my ostomy bag or my scars. So with the four swimsuits that I'm going to show you today, I'm actually gonna show you them up close. And I'm also going to show you some clips of me wearing them in front of Zach because I felt like I looked really good in them. <laughs> they are from Cup She, which I have ordered from in the past. They have, you know, a bunch of different sizes, which is why I really liked them. And then Victoria's Secret. I have never ordered bathing suits from there before, but I was like, let's try it out. They had some great sales. So for all of these bathing suits, I'm going to put links below that you can check them out. Um, I'm really amazed by them. I like look good in all of them. I'm very excited. You may not know this about me. I am not a large chested person. <laughs> I think everybody knows that about me. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm a little offended at the genetics because my mom was totally opposite. Um, don't know what happened there, but you know, it is what it is. Probably, probably a little bit of the Crohn's growing up. But anyways, that's why I wanted to look at Victoria's Secret because I felt like they would have some good options for me. And I found amazing ones that actually fit. So this is, this might be my favorite one. I'll show you the bottoms first. I have a high-waisted mix and match bottom. They have all different colors in these. Um, I actually have... Well, I'll show you in a second. I got a second one from them with, I think, a different top. And it's like a little crossover, so it does dip a little bit, which means that the very, very top of my scar and the top of my ostomy bag may show. I just have a high up stoma, um, but that's fine. I think that this covers me up enough and the pattern on it distracts from any folds if my ostomy bag like folds on the side and, and shows through. That's why I generally pick either darker colors or something that has a bright pattern just to distract the eye, but it's so pretty. Let me show you the top. Ah! Okay, it's basically a bra, but <laughs> a bra that fits, so I will take it. Um, very, very cute, and it's got a little clasp in the back. Feels like it's super well made, and yeah, let me show you me showing Zach. All right, let's see it. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. <gasps> whistle sound. <laughs> I can't whistle. <laughs> Very wow. Yeah, I know it. Like is a little more. I like that a leggy. lot. I love the colors. I, yeah, this is probably my favorite. One of my favorite colors. But you can see Leroy my scar a little bit, but I'm okay with it. Um, I think my butt got a little bit bigger, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna show my tushkins a little bit more. But yeah, I feel good in it. So Makes the top half of me look turn. a lot better. There's a little thing on the back of it. What? Oh, the, that's like Victoria's Secret. Oh. That's their little emblem thing. But I yeah. like that. That looks very good. I love it. I like that a lot. There. All right. It's a good start. All right, to the next. The next one is from Cup She. I know you're gonna say, Maggie, you're taking a risk. You're taking a risk, but that's okay. This is a one-piece white bathing suit. Oh, so pretty. The reason I actually got this was because of the fabric. It is not just a flat white. It's actually 
got a little bit of um I want to say embossing, but it's it's that's not what it is on fabric. It's got a pattern that's raised in portions, and I just felt like if my ostomy were to uh, appear at all, that little pattern would block it, uh, at least a little bit. And it's got like a nice little seashell belt. I thought that was so cute. So um, let me show you me wearing this in front of Zach. All right, I'll close my eyes. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. That's a beautiful and one. And it's like risky because it's white. But I feel risky. like you, you can't see. You can't see anything because there's a pattern. Oh, and the texture. I forgot about the seashell. It kind of hits and covers too. It's a classy one. Oh, it is. Does it, it fit well? Yeah, it fits perfect. Nice so. little seashell. <laughs> it's cute. I like that one. Ah, oh, that's a tough. I got to put them in different categories. So the first one was the first category. This is the second category. Are there going to be four categories? There'll probably be four categories. Okay. <laughs> no, I like this one a lot. I'll turn and kind of see. Like it looks good. That looks very good. Yay. The next one is another Victoria's Secret one. It's actually the same pair of bottoms in a different color. Sorry, trying to find the legs here. <laughs> So it's got that crossover design, same thing, same size. Sorry, the little sticker sticker was hanging out there. There we go. Um, it's the same size and same design. So it, again, it's gonna have that little dip. It does not bug me one bit, but uh, fits super nicely. And uh, my butt cheeks might hang out of it, but that's okay. The top, however, is different. I got a triangle top. So it's like this, but this is actually also a push-up. The first one was a push-up too. And uh, this one allows for a little bit more customization in size so I can tie it to you know the length that I want on the top. And then there is a clasp in the back. This just feels like solid. It feels so well made. I don't know, maybe I've been getting my bathing suits in cheap places, who knows. So that is this one. And here is Zach seeing me in it for the first time. Mr. Panty. Mr. Bear! Ooh, I like the patterns. That's very, is that the same uh, style or make as the first one? Yeah, so the bottoms are the same. I like the, the top colors. is a triangle top. It's kind of like a retro throwback. Yeah, I like, I just felt like That's the nice. colors were sort of, I don't know, 90s vibes ish. Tags bugging me. Maybe I should have taken the tags off first. It's got the little, uh, no, this little metal piece, what do they call it? Little charm. Oh, yeah, it's got it. I think it's got it in the back. Oh, I didn't pull it yep. back all the way up. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I like it. So this is this is the fourth one. I kind of love it. That's a good one, too. It's a, it's like functional, but also. Oh, wow. But OK, it's sh it, sh it shows it shows more. <laughs> Joke's not it's like used yet. It's overused. It's overused. It was overused the first one. I think it shows a little bit more skin but it still offers me, like, if somebody was walking by me on the beach, I, they would never point that out. They would never no, notice it. it they would never right notice in. the scar. This, Not that this it could be my belly button, even though I haven't had one in <laughs> a long time. The final one is also a high-waisted one, but it is from Cupshe. I hope I'm saying that right. Is that how they say their brand? Um, it is just a solid color, which, which way does this go? Which is, you know, sometimes I would avoid just because the folds tend to show on flat fabric, but there's actually some like stitching that I think will kind of take away from that. Um, kind of just obscure your view a little bit. Could be the stitching, could be an ostomy bag, nobody has to know. But this is also a high-waisted bikini bottom. When I was 16, high-waisted was not a thing. Like, I don't remember any high-waisted bikinis. There was a small selection of tankinis, but it was basically mainly bikinis. Like, you were, you were showing everything. I like that it's become a little bit more modest. There are so many different options out there that just cover you up a little bit more conveniently for ostomy patients. It works. But there are also so many different ostomy-specific bathing suits out there as well. So I will definitely show you those in the future because I do have a couple of different things for that um, that look really cute too. So these are the bottoms and the top matches it. It's kind of a, is this a triangle? No, it's not a triangle top. 
this is more like a tank top, I guess. Um, but it's got the little crossover on the top and it fits really well. It's the correct size for me, which is sometimes hard to find, like it is. And this was not very expensive. None of these were expensive. The Victoria's Secret was on sale and Cup She is like, you know, very affordable. So let me show you me showing this to Zach. I got the next one. This one I think is like gonna be my swimming one when I'm doing serious swimming. All right, let's see. Da da da. Ooh, very nice. Classic. Yeah. Pretty blue, matches the water. Oh no, so if I drown you won't be able to find me. Perfect. No. Now I would see from the glow of your uh, radiant, beautiful appearance. My lack of tan. That too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, high waisted. And it holds the it roy well. It pokes out a little bit. Honestly, if this bugged you, you could probably just cut off the top of your flange there. Bad. That's probably what I would do. And this feels like very secure. It also is a little bit bigger. I would say the sizing for cup she, their extra small fits better than Victoria's Secret extra small. Okay. So, yeah. I like it. Like this one. It's a pretty one. It's more functional of the group. It's more I will functional. Say. It is more functional. Yeah. The other two had a, a wow and a papal factor. Yeah. I'm very excited because this summer we actually have, you know, opportunities to go places where I can swim. I actually used to love swimming in the ocean. I'm not a big pool fan. I think I might be allergic to chlorine because I always just sneeze nonstop in pools. But I really, really love the ocean, and I used to stay in it for hours when I was younger. It's a miracle that I didn't get hypothermia, but whatever. Loved it, loved it. So this, this year we'll actually have opportunities because we'll be down in Florida. I'm sure on our road trip there will be opportunities for pools because um, I know I've mentioned it before, but just in case you missed it, Zach and I will actually be speaking at the UOAA conference. So that is happening in Houston, Texas. We will be there. <laughs> and I'm sure along our way, because we're road tripping there, there will be some place for me to hop in a body of water. They really made me feel super confident. I felt like I looked good. I felt like <sighs> when you have something like Crohn's disease that just your weight fluctuates and sometimes you're undernourished and underweight and you're a female. I know males have their own version of this, but when you're like this, it's hard to feel womanly. It's hard to feel like your figure feels womanly. These bathing suits did that for me. So that's what I'm trying to do with my outfits and all, all my things that I wear this summer. I'll put the links below for these bathing suits, but definitely share. Is there something else you do when it comes to swimwear and your ostomy? Or if you have another medical device, what do you do? Do you wear special swimwear? What does that look like for you? I'm very curious because I'm very much in the ostomy world, but when it comes to other things like catheters and things of that nature, what does that look like for you? So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed Zach's reactions and uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.